Hello and welcome to the Light Direction Basics Lecture for the Laney College Photography Department. This is a, an early rendition of imaging by humans about 35,000 years ago. This has been determined to be a woman's hand and uh, they would blow a pigment through a tube creating the outline of the hand and the fingers. Here's another method of imaging late in the first millennium in Persia by Al-Hazim. He could demonstrate the property of optics. We could see how the light moved, worked, flipped around upside down, but we didn't have the graphics that they had 35,000 years ago. Here's the same principle put to work uh, an artist using available light, looking through that same sort of peephole and that image was projected on a piece of silk or a canvas to which he could draw an outline or even infill colors as he wanted. This is the photo and the graphics, but the graphics was done by hand. Now we're talking about different kinds of light sources that we can use for imaging. A very simple candle was employed. And in a darkened room, this candle cast a shadow on a translucent pane of either fabric or paper, and the artist on the other side would draw an outline of the person. Here we have the candle casting a shadow, which was then recorded and became a silhouette. And these silhouettes were very, very popular in the uh, late in the 18th century, uh, much, much less expensive than small handmade, hand painted portraits. And so from there, what we're going to talk about are the three basic light directions. We saw the effect of the candle casting a shadow and uh, essentially backlit. So we're going to start with rim or backlight. We're going to go on to full or front light. And then we're going to go on to side light. This is a nice sort of a diagram that shows us backlighting where the light is behind the subject, front lighting, where the light is sort of behind the shooter at the subject, and a variety of side lights, top, bottom, side left, side right, are all essentially the same kind of light uh, raking across the subject from a bunch of different directions. Let's talk about rim or backlighting since we were talking about silhouettes. Essentially, we have a light behind our subject, and the camera is on the other side, and this is what it can look like. This is shot by Michael Prouting, one of our photo 220 and 230 students. This is a really good example of a backlighting or a rim lighting. The sun is bouncing off the very edges of the moon. You see a terminator, you see texture, because that light is raking across uh, the very edges. Here's another example of backlighting and rim lighting. And you can see the sun shining through the feathers of this heron and lighting the top edges of the head and shoulders. Rim lighting. Here's another example of uh, rim lighting where we have the trees, the edges of the trees being lit and then we have the the side facing us being lit by whatever light is bouncing around. But predominantly this is about rim lighting. Here's another example of rim lighting put together with another full light source uh, in the front. You can see the rim lighting on the shoulder and on the helmet and on the edge of the tire. It gives the uh, image some definition. You can see it also on the top of the head of the shooter in the background. You can see it on the top of the, uh, the bike rack 
where uh, the young man's hand is. Rim lighting. It helps us, uh, gives us a little bit of separation. Here's another example of backlighting and rim lighting at the same time. The lemon or has actually become a light source, that it is allowing light to be transmitted through it and the edges, um, the hair on the, on the person's hand and the very edges of the skin and the uh, rind are being lit by rim lighting. Let's talk about full or front light. Here we have, you can see your model up top there, we've got a person with the camera and then we have a, a light that's behind um, behind the photographer. In this case, it could be in front if you could see over it, but it lights, it lights very fully. Here's a wonderful example. I'm thinking that that is probably window light, a large front light source. Fills in very, very nicely. This man's not very old. He's got to be in his uh, late 40s, but it really uh, the light really fills in his skin, the little crow's feet and things. Very nice. Here's another example of a young woman lit with full light. This one's uh, lit in the studio against a window in the background. Full light, open light, light from in front. This is a really great example of the moon lit fully. The full moon is fully lit from edge to edge, showing its roundness tends to smooth out the details, but look at the upper right hand edges. You can see that effect of light raking across at the very, very edge of the moon. Adds a little texture, but the main part of the moon is fully lit and it softens things, gives a certain kind of detail, a certain kind of contrast that we can put to use. This is classic full lighting, the on-camera flash. Not the most flattering thing at all, but anyhow, this is Franklin Avery, uh, our top photo teacher, and one of our students um, who shoots for the uh, who shoots for the Warriors. Um, here's another example of front full lighting. This is the the model is standing in shadow. She is fully lit by the blue dome uh, in front of her. Of course it is corrected for color, but you can see how nicely that fills from in front. This is uh, something shot in the studio, very full light. This is a shot of somebody shooting on a set. The light is up and behind the shooter, giving them a nice full light. You can see the shadows from the child at the, at the foot. Let's talk about side lighting. Side lighting, here you are, got a light at the side, and here's your model. And this, as we saw earlier on, it can be on the left side or the right side, it actually could be at the top or the bottom. But we'll just call this all side lighting. Here we are, lighting from the side. Not a whole lot of us, as we age, can be lit like that because it shows all of the ravages of age on our skin. But when you're young and wonderful like this, you can get away with it. Side lighting. Notice the amount of detail and texture that it shows. Just, you know, right by her mouth. Uh, the, the little shadow by her n nostril at, at the cheek. Um, the detail in her brow. Here's another example of side lighting, though we do have a little bit of rim lighting as well. It's a nice mixture of the two. Very full uh, skin. The details are quite nice. She has lovely skin, uh, but it does show the roundness of her features. It shows some texture, and you can see a lot of detail in the hand as well from the raking side light. This is another example of essentially side light, and it is raking across this car. You can see the, the beautiful shadow right here. The nice soft shadow that comes from this crease in the uh, coachwork. Look at the shadows and the textures and the details you're seeing here. Look at all the shadows and textures you're seeing in the raking light 
as the light rakes across here. That's one of the functions of side lighting. Here's another lovely image shot by uh, Erica Benitez in a 220 class down in Chinatown. It's a busy image and these people could have just been swallowed up by this detail, but instead the flat light on the wall allows the detail, the raking side light on these people, allows them to stand away uh, from the scene. And all of that detail, look at the lovely detail in the folds of the cloth and the bags lovely piece of work there with side lighting. Here's another more static view of side lighting taking at the water temple at the top of Lake Merritt down by the Grand Lake District. Side lighting. This is an application of side lighting from both sides at the same time and this is referred to as core lighting. There are a lot of different things you can do with this kind of side lighting. If you back this person up all of a sudden, that dark area that's down the middle starts to disappear and they become very fully lit. If you were to bring this person forward, this dark area would darken yet it would become very mysterious. But it all boils down to three basic light directions. Rim or backlight, full or front light, or side light. Thank you for your kind attention.